Hi, Church. Welcome back to this week's devotions. Seriously fun. Jesus lived the ultimate audacious life. And as a church, we are not looking at building a culture or a lifestyle around an organization. We are building our lives and a culture around a kingdom and a king, Jesus. John chapter 10, verse 10 to 11, NIV. The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I have come that they may have life and have it to the full. I am the good shepherd. Proverbs chapter 17, 22, NIV. A cheerful heart is good medicine, but a crushed spirit dries up the bones. Like we've just read, Jesus lived the ultimate audacious life, and he was seriously fun. We are asking the question, how do I take fun seriously? Yesterday, we looked at making it a priority and keeping on making memories. Today, our point is to invest in relationships. Philippians chapter two, verse two, NIV, make my joy complete by being like-minded, having the same love, being one in spirit and of one mind. Ecclesiastes chapter 4, 8 to 12 NIV. There was a man all alone. He had neither son nor brother. There was no end to his toil, yet his eyes were not content with his wealth. For whom am I toiling? He asked and why am I depriving myself of enjoyment, a miserable business? Two are better than one because they have a good return for their labor. If either of them falls down, one can help the other up, but pity anyone who falls and has no one to help them up. Pastor Charles R. Swindle once said, I cannot even imagine where I would be today were it not for the handful of friends who have given me a heart full of joy. Let's face it, friends make life a lot more fun. Jesus surrounded himself with the people and he had three that were close to him and one that was closer than a brother. He invested it in those around him and when you invest in friendship you save your soul small groups are a great place to make that investment and their consistency creates the foundation for when you really need the moment it's often said show me your friends and i will show you your future your friends aren't just important for you now they can create and frame your future. You want people who will accelerate your momentum, not slow it down. Make a decision today to invest in relationships, to join a small group if you are not in one or make the one you are in a priority. Have a great day, church. Bye.